Here we've got a division problem. We've got 6,183 divided by 9. We're going to use the long division method, or the bus stop method, as it's also known. So that involves the number we're dividing by, we're going to write on the outside, and inside the original number. So the first thing we do, we're going to start at the left, 9 into 6. So how many 9s go into 6? Well, no 9s go into 6. So it's 0. And the 6 has to carry over. So we've got how many 9s go into 61? Um, 9 times 6 is 54. And 9 times 7 is 63. So the biggest number we can get in is 6. So 6 goes up here. And then how many have we got to carry over? 9 times 6 is 54. So that means we've got a carryover 7. So that becomes 78. How many 9 is going to 78? We've got 9 times 7 is 63. 9 times 8 is 72. So it's going to be 8. And that's 72. So we've got another 6 to carry over. And then that leaves us with 63. How many 9 is going to 63? That's exactly 7. So 6,183 divided by 9 is 687. OK, another one. So we're going to use the same method. So we're dividing by 4. That's the outside. Inside, 2,182. How many 4s go into 2? None. The 2 is a remainder. It carries over. How many 4s go into 21? 5 4s go into 21. 5 times 4 is 20. So we've got 1 to carry over. How many 4s go into 18? 4 4s go into 18. 4 4s make 16. So that is just 2 to carry over. How many 4s go into 22? Well, 5 4s go into 22. That makes 20 though, 5 times 4. So we've actually got 2 to carry over. How many 4s go into 20? That's 5. So what we did there is we had to extend the number to put 0 on the end so we could carry on and actually get the answer with no remainder. So the answer is 545.5. Okay, this time we've got a decimal. So the way we deal with decimals when we divide, it draws on equivalent fractions. So it's the idea that 1 over 2, 1 half, 1 out of 2 is the same as 10 out of 20. So what we're going to do, to get rid of the decimal, we're going to times the bottom by 10. And because we times the bottom by 10, we times the top by 10. So 2, 5, 2, 0, divided by 4. So this is the same as this. So we're not going to need to do anything to our answer, because it's the same. They're equivalent. So the question is asking us, how many 4s go into 2, 5, 2, 0? How many 4s go into 2? None. We carry over 2. How many 4s go into 25? It's 6. 6 times 4 is 24. So we carry over 1. How many 4s go into 12? 3. No remainder. How many 4s go into 0? None. So... 252 divided by 0 0.4 is 630. Okay, another example. So, we're going to follow the same process. So, six, no, 363 divided by 0 0.3 is equivalent to, if we times the bottom and the top by 10, 3630 divided by 3. 
three goes on the outside, and inside three, six, three, zero. How many threes go into three? One. How many threes go into six? Two. How many threes go into three? One. How many threes into nothing? Nothing. So the answer is 1,210. Okay, here are some questions for you to try. Pause the video now and give them a go. Here are the answers.